Hey guys, it's Megan from the Channel 62, and welcome to TC2 Extras. Woohoo! We're making another video. Um, first of all, I'm wearing glasses. I only wear them sometimes, but like I'm wearing them now, so I didn't want to take them off. And as you guys know, we just posted a meet video, just like that we had that we had over the weekend. So we posted it early on the Channel 62. If you didn't watch it, you should go watch it. And there was so many different questions asking like what our level was and like a whole bunch of different stuff like that. So I just wanted to take this the time to talk about it in this video because if we like were to do it like in a later meet video and like attach it onto the end, it would just I feel like take forever. So I thought it'd be easier to do it like separately in its own video. And yeah, so let's get started. So obviously I wanted to address like a lot of people, the most like I saw it like every single comment I swear was what level are you guys? And even though it said in the title, like, it, even though it said, we said at the end what our level was, our level is Excel Diamond. You, like, I will not say we're a number level because we aren't. Our level is Diamond. That is the level. That's the name of it. We don't have, like, number levels that we go off of. It is Excel Diamond. And in, um, there's different gymnastics programs that you can do. There's USAG JO, which is, um, the most common one, I think. And then there's USAG Excel, which is what our gym does. And then there's a few other ones, like AmeriKids, and yeah, those are the ones that I can think of. And so we do Excel. They are not number levels. They are bronze, silver, um, gold, platinum, diamond. Those are the five levels. There's a lot fewer of them. And a lot of them, all the levels in Excel have a much wider variety of the different skills that you can do. And so, even though in the comments I replied saying that we are Excel, and I don't think that they are comparable to J.O. at all, and I will get into that later, I did say that they were, like, because I know people still wanted something to compare it to, so I said that it was, like, levels 6 through 8, just because that's what USAG says that it's comparable to, and they're the ones in charge, so I just went off of what they said, and it's comparable to 6 through 8, that's what it said. And, um, so yeah, I replied with that, and a lot of people were saying, I'm going to summarize <clears throat> mostly what people were saying, kind of along the lines of, you guys suck, you can't be like level 6 through 8. You're definitely not level 8 or something. And I know it definitely wasn't said necessarily like that, I was paraphrasing. Um, and I'd agree, I don't think I'm level 8 in maybe any of the events, and um, you know, I know that I'm the one that competes. Um, I'm just saying what USAG compares it to, I would agree that I'm closer to probably a level 6 gymnast all around, maybe level 7, but I also wanted to talk about how people were still comparing it to, you know, when I said that, they were like, well, you can't be level 7 because <clears throat> on level 7, they, like, you're supposed to do back handsprings on beam, you're supposed to have a handstand on bars, and all that stuff, so you're not level 7. And like I said again, you can't compare a diamond to level 7. I didn't say I was level 7, we said we were diamond, and on diamond, because there's such weight such fewer levels on Excel than there are for JO. That means that there's a much wider variety of skills that you can do. So my beam routine was a diamond beam routine. Sierra's was a diamond beam routine. I did a Valdez in mine, which is not something that you see a lot, which is why some people are probably like, well, if you don't have back handspring, it's not level seven, even though I had all the requirements for diamond. Sierra did have a back handspring, so it probably looked a little bit more like level six or level seven. And so, in our upcoming meet videos, if you see that, then obviously be aware that there are so many different, like, requirements for Diamond, like, just look up Diamond Gymnastics requirements and you will see, like, the requirements for it. There is such a huge variety of things, like, on bars, you don't have to just cast to a handstand, all you need is two B skills, and then one has to be at least, like, at least one of them has to be a circling B skill and you have to have a cast that hits 45 degrees to a handstand. So uh, the, we have our clear hip as 1B skill, and then we do a clear hip, it's kind of like not a very good clear hip, but we do our clear hip on the high bar too. At first in the season we were doing a release move, which is another option that's a B skill, but because we weren't doing that well with that, then that's why we switched to a clear hip, kind of late notice. I'm hoping that eventually we can switch back to doing the release move. Um, and yeah, otherwise you can do like a pirouette too, like there's so many different options, but like we won't, we're not ever going to probably get to like the full like all around bar routines that would be expected of a level 8 just because that's not expected of 
diamonds and why would you compete like more stuff than you have to if you're going to get deducted more and I also wanted to talk about like some people were saying um, if you can com if you can do harder stuff why aren't you competing that because I know you can do harder stuff and it's kind of the same thing like if you can do something that's easier but you do it better at a meet why would you take more deductions just to do a harder skill that you don't need so that's why we took out a release move and hopefully we can add it, add it back if it gets better um, I have my full I'm kind of working on getting it back if you guys don't know I've kind of like I've had my full but then it's not very pretty so I've struggled with trying to like get it back and have it look good and so um, I didn't compete it at this meet and um, like I said in the other video our start values were a little bit lower on some of the events um, but I just wanted to say for those of you asking what our level is I'm just gonna stop comparing it to numbers numbers don't exist in our levels um, it is diamond you can look up the requirements online to see what that means but yeah this video is probably long enough but I just wanted to make this video because in all, like, in all honesty, me and C were just getting kind of angry. Like, there was literally someone saying, you guys aren't Diamond, you're lying. I don't know why you're lying about being Diamond, but I'm unsubscribing. <clears throat> and so, that just baffled me and C because we were like, well, we are Diamond, so... And it kind of goes along with, like, the lines of, we aren't going to be amazing gymnasts. We only practice four hours a week, so it is what it is. This is what we get. And I think that for four hours a week and have never never practiced more than six hours a week in my entire life that I'm in a pretty good spot in gymnastics and I'm happy with that and if you want to go and practice 20 hours a week or more and get out of school early every day and miss out on that and have a whole bunch of schoolwork then you can do that I'm not trying to bash but that's kind of what it's turning into I'm not trying to bash people that do take gymnastics seriously because obviously it does pay off you get really good at gymnastics um, I'm just saying that to me and Sierra Doing other stuff is also more important than gymnastics, like going to school all the time and like having free time and that stuff that we like to do rather than having 20 plus hours a week of gymnastics because then I feel like I really would not enjoy it. So yeah, that is the difference between J.O. and Excel and that's why me and Sierra do Excel. And that is basically a little bit of a rundown of how a diamond works and yeah. So in the comments down below, please do not even try comparing it to J.O. Yeah, because they are not the same thing. So yeah, anyways, <clears throat> I know this probably wasn't the most fun video, but more informative, and I thought it'd be something good to let you guys know and kind of like our thoughts on it. Um, yeah, so anyways, we will, well, oh yeah, make sure you watch the Channel 6 too. We'll upload... Um, not tomorrow, we're not going to upload tomorrow because um, check the description of our other video. Um, we just don't have a video that's ready to go up yet, so we will upload on probably Wednesday, but maybe Thursday if it doesn't work out. Bye!